Hey, what's up everybody? Oh yeah, I'm on my drive home. I'm going a different way today because there's a fire in Topanga Canyon and they didn't have that road open for about a week and a half now and it's kind of nice to drive that way because nobody's going that way but the one half of that road is open and that's the half that I can drive from this direction so I'm gonna be going this way um, I'd like to give you guys a quick update this is sort of a uh, what the heck I've been doing what my plans are so I've been traveling I went to Italy I still got videos to upload from there and and then I got home and about three days later I went to my hometown back in Indiana and I spent two weeks there oh and while I was in Italy I didn't uh, I didn't have internet basically the entire time a little bit on my phone and that was about it so that was kind of a bummer and then the first week uh, I was in Indiana I also did not have internet uh, a little bit on my phone again but couldn't upload or do anything like that so I was kind of nice actually I just took a break from the YouTube world and didn't make any videos and I did record some stuff in Italy of course but not while I was in Indiana and then I went uh, well then I worked then July 4th and tomorrow this is Wednesday tomorrow on Thursday I will be going to the science and energy conference in Idaho so I'll be gone another weekend and yeah I've been trying to edit and upload the few things I can. Look, it's kind of clear. You see that big line right there? That's uh, haze and smoke and crap. Actually, it's pretty darn clear considering. I wonder if they got the fire completely out. It's so hard to tell. But they had the PCH, or the Topanga Canyon closed for a while. Anyway, so I got... Uh, this is like the first time I've ridden this bike in oh, like two and a half weeks. And then I won't get to ride it for another five days. I kind of like driving this thing. It's a lot of fun. It's been, uh, been a little more warmer around here though. Which isn't necessarily fun because I do bundle up and make sure I'm safe. And it's kind of hot. Got the long sleeves on. I could crack open the zippers on these arms. It'd probably feel better though. Anyway, so um, I've been working on that Ant E-Carry printer. That's a fun little machine. Uh, one of my goals is to just put a heated bed on that thing and prove that you can connect it and get it working properly. Um, and hopefully I can just use like spacers or something on the bottom and get the heat bed off the acrylic plate and then it'd be sort of an easy, uh, an easy fix. So, um, that is one of my goals. That is such an interesting cloud line up there. Anyway, that's one of my goals. Um, it seems that in the next month or so, 30 days or so, um, I may be reviewing another printer. I wasn't so sure I was going to continue reviewing printers. The, the Ant E-Carry was really one of the simplest printers to review. And it was already assembled and even though I had to do some work on it I think it was actually pretty beneficial for people um, the next one I'm going to be reviewing is sort of a special one too so what I did was um, I am able to kind of select which printer I'd like to do a review on and um, I don't really want to do reviews on printers that are heavily reviewed already so my goal is to give people the options of the other printers. So everybody's been um, everybody's been doing the review on the CR10, and although it looks like a great machine, I'm not interested in reviewing it. It's too many reviews out there. So I de I decided to see if I could get a hold of this 
other printer, which is a two-in-one combo. And that is the reason that I wanted to review it, is because it's not only a 3D printer, it's also a laser engraver. So that'll sort of give me two things. If the laser engraver actually works really well, I might be able to use whatever software it comes with to directly run my oversized delta laser cutter. And that would be kind of nice, kind of like a step forward. So it gives me some, some options on um, possibly what I can do and what I can't. Isn't this nice? I'm going a different route for you guys, finally. Although a lot of you have seen this, if you've watched my videos a long time, this, this route. At least it's a little different. So, um, so that's my, my sort of plan. Now, I don't really want to review videos or review printers, but if people actually use my affiliate link, it does bring in a tiny bit of funding. And so, if I can review printers and get a tiny bit of funding, then I can do a couple things. I could give those printers away. Right now, I don't have any plans to do that, but I can in the future. Um, I suspect that's my, sort of my plan. I don't have room for all the printers, so I'll, I'll probably end up giving some away. But uh, at the moment, I, I don't plan on doing that because I actually could use a few more printers. And um, I'm going to use them and upgrade them and make more videos on them. And uh, hopefully, people will continue to buy those printers through my affiliate links because again it does help so that's kind of my goal with that idea um, I had one guy tell me and I asked everybody in in the video if you guys wanted to see me make more reviews please let me know and one gentleman said I like reviews from you Russ because or could have been a lady I don't remember but one of the commenters said that I have a much more understanding of the mechanical background so my opinion is heavily um, weighed upon um, a lot of people don't have that advantage and so it's kind of nice so i appreciate that comment and i will review at least one more for now um, i kind of like to review some of the more expensive printers this other one is uh, about double the cost of the e-carry um, it's made by the same company as the CR10, so it should be a should be an interesting thing. But it does not have Z leveling, which is mm, kind of bad. But maybe there's an integration that I can do with it and kind of oh get it to work. I don't know. I have to sort of test that idea. But um, so anyway, other than that, um, I really really want to focus on the OSD. So these printer reviews are a, a sort of a distra- a distra- a blah, 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 get it out. Sort of a distraction. However, um, like I said, they do bring in a little bit of funding, which I need to continue on my other projects. So I think it's worth my time. Um, and if I do the reviews properly, I can really- I could really pump out review videos pretty fast. I never thought I'd be doing review videos, but um, if you can do good at it and people actually click on your affiliate links, you can actually make a tiny bit of funding. Uh, enough to be worth your while, basically. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but it is what it is for now. We'll try one more and give it a shot. So the OSD, you know, it's got... I. Most people don't understand this, but I got a lot of engineering work to do on that thing. I'm going to be doing things with that that I haven't mentioned to anybody except for a few close individuals that um, know kind of what I want to try to do with that machine. And in order to do what I really want to do, it's going to take some engineering and some testing and a lot of effort. Uh, the other thing I want to do is upgrade the Rostock to the Duet 8.0.5. Um, if anyone wants to trade me a Duet Wi-Fi for a Duet 0.8.5 or anybody wants to buy my 0.8.5 for a decent price I'd like to get a um, duet Wi-Fi or a duet Ethernet one or the other probably a Wi-Fi but the reason I want to do that is because I want the quieter stepper drivers that's the only reason that board is a great board 
but it does have the older drivers and they are just as noisy and that Rostock is just so loud and honestly the stepper motor drivers may not even make it better and the reason I say that is because um, uh, 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 they may have this road open finally actually I think they do which means my drive isn't gonna be as pleasant as I wish that's okay um, so hold on let me get past this traffic and I'll continue talking to you so basically um, I'm gonna be doing stuff with the uh, Ros talk upgrading it I printed out the LCD mount I printed out the new bushings that I got to make a video on uh, still kind of testing those I didn't want to make a video until I really gave them a good test so far so good um, yeah and basically um, I need a Z probe for the OSD there's a couple out there that other people's have made that I kind of like but I still love engineering something myself and building it from scratch it's just it's just a lot of fun and uh, and so I, I, I want to continue doing that and so what's important about that is I can do exactly what I want however I want it and I'm gonna be using that on the Rostock as a test model as I did with my hot end so I'm gonna be building a new hot end for the OSD and that is of course the reason that I'm doing all that is to test products or ideas not products but ideas for the OSD and uh, then I can publish the files and the cool thing is, is the OSD and the Rostock both have the exact same end effector at the moment and all the parts are the same so anyone who's ever built a Rostock in the last what five years now since it came out and still has the original um, you know parameters on the size of the connections and where the where everything fits because of course you can't make a custom part fit a new printer if it's got different sizes so you got to replace the rail arms or not the arms but the the slide rail components plus the end effector so that they're the same um, I actually had another idea which which I need to test as well which is to add a third arm as a stabilizer so right now I've noticed that um, no matter what you do the end effector moves around a little bit has some play in it and part of that is because everything can flex but if you use a three-point system it can no longer flex um, or a four-point system I, I'm almost certain that this system will work flawlessly but I need another set of ends I need to redesign the end effector and I need to redesign the plastic parts that are on the uh, slide rails on the OSD to make a three-point system and make it work um, the reason I want to do that is because when I use the CNC cutter um, it flexes a tiny little bit and that tiny little bit is actually too much if you want to make certain type of cuts with certain type of things Whee! so that's the story I'm sticking to it I've got a ton of engineering to do I tried to find a few people who wanted to help me make this new idea I was even thinking about doing a Kickstarter because the idea is novel or at least novel enough that it's something that I want to do I don't want to share it just yet um, I have shared it with other people and I haven't shared it just yet but um, with the with the full community but um, that guy's all right he looks fine he's got a cell phone um, so I am kind of looking for a few people that I can trust that it will help me start a Kickstarter because I think this will be a pretty cool idea maybe not but I think it will be and the reason I think it will be is because I can take electronics that do not support multi extrusion and make it support multi extrusion with this simple trick um, the bad thing is is I know the duet 
will handle this no problem without any extra hardware but all the other electronics need to be able to run servos so I'm kind of trading off some things for to use servos and not all electronics can use servos but I think most of the firmwares can use uh, servos now it's just a matter of making sure that the firmware can and the hardware can so it's kind of a, a good and a bad thing I can save money on people's systems if they want to do a multi-material upgrade kind of like the Prusa multi-material upgrade and it's kind of good and bad you know you can go one way or the other but I can't say just yet what it is because I'm really excited about trying to get it to work on my own um, and then I'll of course open source it so anybody can build it but uh, uh, the reason I want to do a Kickstarter is because it's possibly a way to bring in a tiny bit of funding which is always needed to continue working on projects that's really the only reason I want to do it via Kickstarter but if no one helps me and I can't get a group of people to help me with Kickstarter and actually be a part of that and trustworthy people that I know will follow through then uh, then basically I will just be open sourcing everything the way I always do and don't worry about the Kickstarter so that's my story and I'm sticking to it I hope you guys had a happy 4th of July Canadian flag interesting I am in America but I'll support Canada. Go Canada! Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I got. It's getting hot now, I'm out of the shade and I'm in the sun and I'm starting to sweat. So thank you guys for supporting my work and uh, liking these videos and sorry I haven't made an update video in a while. I will be publishing uh, more videos when I can as I can when I make them and edit them to be honest between making videos and editing videos it's so much effort that I can't do any projects so not uploading videos and not editing videos while I was away was a, was a nice little break I spend every single night editing videos and, and recording videos and hardly any time ever actually working on projects anymore because I spend so much time editing so I can fix that by recording videos in a proper manner, which I try to do sometimes, but sometimes it's not feasible to do it properly. I never write a script. I've only written one script and I only used, it wasn't even a script, it was just some notes. And it was helpful, but it still took a ton of effort to edit that video because it wasn't scripted in a full script, so. Anyway, the sun is very bright. The traffic is really nice. I'm actually driving at a decent click. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys another day. Yeah, I'll wait till we get up to the top of this hill. It's a really nice view. Uh, 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 uh. Whee! Well, it appears that Topanga Canyon is now open because all this traffic's coming from the PCH. So I can drive. I can drive the other route now to work and it'll still be pretty clear. The reason I like going this way when the PCH is closed is because there's hardly any traffic. And when PCH is, well not PCH, but Topanga Canyon. When it's open, it's uh, it's really not fun to drive this road. I used to drive this road every day on my moped, every single day for about a year on the Honda Hobbit but I'm um, kind of blew that thing up okay there's your nice view and I'll see you guys another day thanks for watching peace and love check out the affiliate links all of those links help me you can go to any of those websites and use that one link and anything you buy there will will help me a tiny little bit I'm learning that that's actually a pretty cool thing. Everyone needs to buy stuff sometimes and if you can help a help a YouTuber out while you do it then cheers. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.
Whee! All right. This road is very curvy. Hmm. Wonder if that stroller is still here. If it is, I should come get it. And the stroller is... Gone. Nope, it's still there. I should come get it, that's a nice stroller. Hmm, that semi was definitely over the line. Jeez. He was on the other side of the white line. That's seriously dangerous stuff right there. <laughs>